गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी आई एम डॉक्टर हिरालाल गायकवाड रेसिडेंट फ्रॉम जी एम सी औरंगाबाद प्रेजेंटिंग पेपर ऑन रोल ऑफ कंप्यूटेड टोमोग्राफी इन आर्बेटल पैथोलॉजीज इंट्रोडक्शन कंप्यूटेड टोमोग्राफी इज द फर्स्ट लाइन मॉडलिटी फॉर योलेशन ऑफ द ऑर्बिट इन सिटिंग सच एज प्रॉम सिटी रिमेन्स एक्वी क्लिनिकली इफेक्टिव एंड फ्रेसाइज टूल इन इमरजेंसी सेटिंग्स सिटी ऑर्बिट इज एन आइडियल इमेजिंग टूल फॉर कंप्रेसिव इमेजिंग असेसमेंट ऑफ पेशेंट्स विथ ऑर्बेटल ट्रॉमा Malignancy, suspected or congenital malformations in various clinical settings. Pathological findings of the CT orbit include fractures, congenital abnormalities, neoplasms, inflammations, infections, etc. Abundance of intraorbital fat provides good intrinsic soft tissue contrast on CT. CT is also valuable in the follow-up of tumor regression after surgery, radiotherapy, or chemotherapy. This image shows the anatomy of orbit, showing various structures. The various pathologies which affect the orbit include intraocular pathologies, such as globe pathologies. In this, congenital abnormalities uh, which affects the orbit include uh, colobomas, inflammatory conditions such as endophthalmitis, tumors such as retinal blastoma, and degenerative conditions. Optic nerve complex lesions uh, such as congenital lesions uh, like uh, optic nerve plasia, hyperplasia, demyelination. Like optic neuritis, inflammatory conditions such as perineuritis, neoplastic lesions such as glioma, ischemic, and vascular lesions. Orbital affects lesions such as neoplastic, vascular, infectious, and inflammatory lesions. Extracornal pathologies which affect orbit include vasculogenic lesions such as vascular property lesions, congenital lesions like dermoid, epidermoid, neo. Neurogenic lesions such as schwannoma, neurofibroma, visit camera lesions such as rhabdomyosarcoma, inflammatory fibromatosis, lymphoproliferative disorders such as lymphoma, osseous, and infective lesions. MCN and objectives of this study is to emphasize the value of computer tomography in evaluation of the orbital pathologies, methods, and materials. This was a cross section of the study conducted at Department of Radio Diagnosis, GMC Aurangabad. Approval from Institutional Ethics Committee and consent of the patient was taken before starting the study. 50 patients underwent CT examination and those with positive findings were included in the study. CT examination was done using 128 slice CT scan machine. Uh, these are the CT protocol acquisition parameters as shown in the table. The observations and results from our study includes the distribution of patients according to age show uh, maximum lesions were found in this group of 30 to 40 years, followed by 20 to 30 years. Out of these, uh, 37 were males and 13 were females. Uh, 38 patients showed unilateral lesions, 12 showed bilateral lesions. A uh, distribution of orbital pathologies according to etiology show uh, three congenital lesions, 23 traumatic, 14 infective inflammatory, one vascular and nine neoplastic. The distribution of primary versus secondary orbital neoplasm show uh, one was benign. In malignant conditions, seven were primary malignant and one was secondary. Uh, distribution of orbital pathology according to etiology and show uh, maximum cases were traumatic and uh, males were more affected than females. Distribution of orbital trauma according to sex and uh, age show uh, maximum cases uh, were males and uh, only two cases were uh, females. Uh, cases were maximum in this group of 20 to 30 and 30 to 40. These are some images from our study. Uh, this image shows the fracture of the lateral wall of the left orbit. Uh, this image shows periorbitals of tissue edema and preceptal specimen on left side in trauma patient. Uh, in this COVID-19 positive patient, this CT image shows uh, heterogeneous mucosal thickening in uh, right maxillary sinus uh, with tension into the right orbit. This was a case of fungal rhinosinusitis with uh, right orbital involvement. This is also COVID-19 positive patient, uh, which shows uh, in this image 
heterogeneous soft tissue thickening in bilateral orbits with the erosion of orbital walls causing bilateral prophasis. This was also a case of uh, mucormycosis. Uh, in this image, there is a well-defined uh, solid mass lesion in the orbital apex uh, involving optic nerve sheath complex. This was a case of optic nerve schonoma. Uh, this CCT image shows a well-defined smooth margin fat density non-enhancing lesion located at the medial canthus of the right eye. Uh, this was case of uh, dermoid cyst. In this image, uh, there is a heterogeneously enhancing soft tissue mass lesion protruding from the right orbit and displacing the globe. This was a case of uh, embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma. Uh, in this image, uh, CT shows soft tissue density lesion in the intracranial component of the uh, left orbit uh, located between uh, lateral rectus and optic nerve. This was case of cavernous semangioma. Uh, in this image, uh, uh, yeah. which is uh, pseudo tumor myositis of right medial rectus muscle and causing mild proptosis and distortion of the right eye globe. Uh, these images show the uh, contrast enhancing retro lentil mass with calcifications within. Uh, these are uh, retinoblastoma. Discussion out of 50 patients, maximum orbital pathologists were found in the age group of 30 to 40 years, followed by 20 to 30 years. It is a similar to the study by Arthi Patel. According to sex distribution, 37 cases, uh, that is 74% uh, were males and 26% were females. In a similar study by Nilesh uh, Chaudhary, uh, also shows maximum number of cases were males and few cases were females. Uh, in this, uh, 76 cases were unilateral and only 24% cases had bilateral involvement. Maximum cases were traumatic followed by infective inflammatory and neoplastic. In a similar study by Nisha, uh, also shows maximum cases uh, were inflammatory followed by neoplastic and traumatic. Another study by Nilesh Chaudhary also shown uh, maximum cases were inflammatory, infective, followed by neoplastic. Total 8 malignant neoplasms were present, out of which 7 were primary and 1 was secondary. In study by Ushakim, uh, also shown that most of the orbital neoplasms, approximately uh, 9% were uh, found to be primary and 10% uh, uh, were uh, secondary. Uh, as per sex wise distribution, infective inflammatory disorders. Traumatic injury, neoplastic, and congenital pathologies were common in males, whereas vascular pathologies were common in females. Out of 23 trauma patients, maximum orbital pathologies were found in males and in age group of 20 to 30, followed by 30 to 40 years. Conclusion: CT is the first indication of choice in emergency setting uh, with orbital trauma, and when MRI is contradictory, CT is excellent in identifying orbital fractures and assessing foreign body. CT provides essential information for treatment and follow up in traumatic inflammatory and neoplastic lesions of the orbit. Uh, CT is a rapid non invasive reliable diagnostic tool for evaluation of the orbital pathologies. This allows the clinician to make a better informed rapid decision regarding other management prognosis and flow. These are my references. Thank you.